Good morning, everyone. I am going to show you how to make loaded breakfast skillet. Ooh, it's got everything in it. We're going to have some bacon, or you can substitute sausage for it if you'd like. We've got veggies, we've got potatoes, and we've got eggs, some cheese. Ooh, it's all happening. Let me show you how easy it's going to be, though. We're going to start off with one package of bacon. We're just going to cut it up into our skillet and start browning it up. Okay. Who doesn't love a skillet meal? We're going to do it with breakfast today. All happening in one skillet. Alright, I've got my bacon. Let's cut this open. There we go. Whoop. We don't want to cook that. And we may be doing half of the bacon. I'm just going to take my kitchen shears Cut up the bacon into the pan, so we already have it chopped up. Plus, it'll cook faster. Now, if you're going to do like sausage, like a breakfast sausage, a Jimmy Dean sausage, you can just to cook it all up till it's nice and brown, like we're going to do with a bacon. I'm wondering if that's enough right there. I may just cook it all up, and if I don't need it all, then I have already cooked bacon for something else. All right, that looks good right there. Now, while you're browning up your bacon, we're going to start chopping up some vegetables for our breakfast skillet. Well, you can omit them if you'd like, but we're going to put some in ours. I've got one kind of a small onion, it's a yellow, and then one bell pepper, and I'll just dice those up really small. We're just going to cut strips off the four sides of the bell pepper. Now if you want to use different colored bell peppers, you can do that. Give it a nice color to the dish. I'm going to turn these around and just run my knife through the strips to make small dices. All right, make sure you keep an eye on your bacon. This will wake up everybody in your house. <laughs> All right, I think that's how many bell peppers I'm going to put in. And then I'm just going to cut up my onion. All right, take off that outer layer of your onion and the two ends. We're going to cut it in half. And like I always say, just run your knife through the slices, the lines of your onion there to make slices. And then we'll run our knife through the slices to make our dices. There's so many different ways to dice an onion. We've got our bacon nice and brown. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the burner for just a minute. While we take the bacon out, look at that, nice and crispy. We're going to plate it onto a plate that's got paper towels on it. And let it drain. I'm going to cool down the oil in my pan for just a minute while I do this. And then we're going to take some paper towels and we're just going to drain out about half of that grease from the bacon. Leave about one tablespoon in there. And then we'll turn it back on. That way we don't burn the other ingredients that go in. Look at that. All right, we're going to turn our burner back on to a medium, medium high. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter. This will give us some flavor. There we go. 
The pan should still be hot. I'm going to add my peppers and onions in. Get those going. And then we're going to add in one package of diced potatoes. Now this is a 20 ounce package. You can get this in your refrigerated section of your store. We're going to add that. They're just cubed potatoes. You know, mix these around. I didn't like that one. It's got kind of a black thing on it. Here we go. All right, stir this around. We're going to season it like we love our family. We've got some salt. I'm going to go across the top with it. Some black pepper. I'm thinking a quarter of a teaspoon of everything, then you can give it a taste if you need to. But I'm going to go in with some garlic powder. Show it some love. Onion powder right across the top. We're going to give it some color and some flavor. I'm using smoked paprika. All right, let's start blending this all together. Very carefully. We're going to cook these for about five to seven minutes until the potatoes are nice and crispy and lightly browned and the peppers and onions are nice and softened. All right, they're looking really good. What we're going to do now is add our bacon that we'd already crisped up. And we're going to add half a cup of shredded cheese. Blend that all together. Now we're going to lower our heat to a medium low. Gotta flatten it out. And we're gonna make wells to put our eggs in. How many eggs you wanna make? One, two, three, three, four, and we'll probably do five. That looks good. All right. I have my eggs right here. We're going to crack them into each hole. Start right in the center. <laughs> Two. This is one of our favorite dishes on the weekend. This would be great for nighttime too. If you're looking for a dinner idea, pop out the eggs and potatoes. All right, we got four. And let me move that over just a little bit right there. Five. All right, we're gonna salt the eggs. Pepper. There we go. Flavor the whole dish. <laughs> we're going to place a lid on and we're going to cook the eggs until they are set. I'm going to bring you back. Let's take a look. Perfect. We're going to turn it off. We're going to give it a little pop of color on the top. I got some parsley or you can do green onion. There we go. Let's plate it up. 
Let's dive in. Doesn't that look good? All right, let's get a bite. Mmm, look at that egg. Nice and set. There's my bite. Mmm. Ooh, that's a happy breakfast. <laughs> Make that on a special occasion on the weekend for brunch. Heck, make it for dinner. Those potatoes are delicious. Make sure you season it with all those seasonings because you love your family or you love yourself. All right, thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And everyone, make sure you're hitting that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. All right. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Hmm.